This is how we do the seated row using a low band. We're gonna take double arms here and we've gotta make sure that we are really holding our lower back steady when we're in this seated position. It could be a dining table chair, it could be the sofa, it could be some other sturdy chair that you're using. But when we're sat down here in this position, we have to make sure that we're nice and tall with our posture. We have to have tension at the start of the exercise on the bands. It's no good than being loose like so. And we need to keep our spine nice and tall. Make sure your feet are planted firmly on the floor so you've got a little bit of support for yourself as you come through and get into position and then go through that rowing motion. Just like when we're standing up tall, the row should be coming straight into that chest, meeting a nice little chest pop at the end and our head and eyes should be on the horizon without our head going forwards, up and looking like so. Everything from here down needs to stay nice and strong throughout the entirety of this exercise. So make sure you've got your door anchor or wall anchor in place. You're using both handles ideally. You might need to double up bands here to make it a little bit stronger for you, but make sure as always that the anchor is firmly in place. Let's sit down. Make sure you've got some tension on the bands here. Brace our feet nice and strong, our core and spine nice and steady, and our head and eyes up on the horizon. I'm gonna go through 10 reps together. Here we go. Let's come in for one and back. Two and back. Three and back. Four and back. Five and back. Six and back. Seven and back eight and back, nine and back, 10 and back. And that's how we do the seated row. Find this demonstration helpful. Check out the link down below for free access to our extensive library to stay injury-free while you're getting back in shape.